Hi guys, welcome back to the Makeup Hunter. So we have a towel on the bed, so that must mean one thing. We are carrying on with my collection series where I go through every category of my makeup collection, well how I've got it organised. And we'll go through, we'll have a look at what I've got, do some swatches, the May potentially be um declutters um but as i've said in previous videos i have already decluttered my collection in december so if i get rid of anything it will perhaps be one item um that i just decide there and then that i don't want to keep anymore so Today we are going to be working on my powder blushes and powder bronzers and I have a lot of them. This is the drawer that is the most full um, and whilst I've swatched a lot of my um, products from my first two categories I don't think I'll be swatching pretty much everything in here just because it will take me so, so long. I will swatch a few things here and there, but it's mainly going to be a sort of opening everything and, and showing you what I've got. Um, this is a way for me to be able to look back and see what i started the year on with my makeup collection as i have some very specific goals that i've set for myself for my collection and consumption when it comes to makeup and beauty products so with all bit that being said let's get into the video um first things first though before i do move on if you could Give this video a like if you're enjoying having a look inside my makeup collection. Um, leave me a comment. I really appreciate any feedback that you may give me on the videos and the content that I am currently uploading. And if you could take a moment out of your day to subscribe to this channel to see future uploads from me, that would mean the absolute world. So... Thank you for listening to my little spiel. Now let's get on to the video. Okay, so these are the face palettes within my collection. I do have a few more which are more highlight heavy, which I keep with my highlights. So I've got like, um, say my ABH um, highlight palettes, I've got um, a BH Cosmetics palette that's got highlights and blushes in, but these are the ones that are more like blush heavy. So firstly I'll go, I'm just going to pick at random. So the first one is the BFF Alondra and Elsie. This is from BH Cosmetics. Now this is one that um, has been very neglected by myself. Um, it was bought at a time when I was just bringing in such a sheer high volume of makeup into my collection that I just haven't given it the, the love that it, it deserves. I have used it once and it is a really beautiful palette. I love, love this bronzer. So it's one that I wouldn't miss if it wasn't in my collection, but I'm also not ready to let it go because as I say, I do really like all the products that are in here. I just haven't given it the you know the love that it deserves this is um, a huge candidate for my February shop my stash so that's that one then I have my beauty pie palette this is one that they launched in the summer last year I think it was it was like um, a limited edition I am no longer a beauty pie member um, I am very much 
well stocked up on my skincare. I obviously don't need any more makeup or body products and um, Beauty Pie have been putting a lot of their prices up. So things that were once super, super affordable were turning out to be the same price as, you know, other companies. So I decided to terminate my membership. But I still swear by their skincare. I love the bits of makeup that I've got from them. Um, the only thing that I will say about the the makeup products is their liquid products do seem to expire quite quickly but um i would potentially consider um rejoining them um when i work through some of my skincare but at the moment the way i feel i kind of want to um try a lot of glow recipe products um and it's not hugely hugely more expensive than beauty pie is currently so all of that being said this is the beauty pie palette so it has these are all a uh, baked gelée formula so you've got the highlight blush and two uh, bronzer and two blushes this is a stunning palette really really gorgeous the bronzer is lovely uh, the highlight is stunning the blushes are beautiful it's a gorgeous palette so I'll swatch the highlight and the bronzer they're really soft and silky as with most baked gelée products and then this is my favourite out of the two blushes the blushes are available to buy individually um, I think it's the bronzer and the highlighter that are sort of not within the main range so that is that palette and then also from bh cosmetics i have the flower power blush palette this was in the flower power um collection that they brought out in the summer of last year they had um the blush palette and um, an eyeshadow palette that was all purples which I bought for my mum and I bought the blush palette for me um, I wanted some of this collection because I'm obsessed with the 70s and I just love the packaging of this so I'm not usually one for buying things just because of the packaging but this was one that I made the exception for the blushes in here are really pretty um, I have used it once but like with the BFF palette it was purchased, purchased at a time when just a huge amount of makeup was coming through my collection that every item that I brought in was either touched once or not touched at all. So same with the BFF palette um, this is one that I don't think I would miss if I didn't have it in my collection but I'm also not ready to let it go and then we'll talk about some of my favourite face palettes so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow this is her cult classic um, bronzer and highlight palette I absolutely adore both products in here the bronzer and the highlighter are the absolute perfect tone for me this is one that i will not be letting go of i absolutely adore this and then something i've had in my collection for quite a long time but i absolutely adore it i don't um when I purchased this, um, you were able to buy Makeup Forever in a department store near me, but the counter and then the department store um, went completely. So Makeup Forever is now something that I would only be able to purchase online, um, so I don't really have much of it in my collection. I Well, I just have this. This is all that remains in my collection of Makeup Forever. Um, but this is their sort of like build your own palette. You could put um, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, eyeshadows all in these little palettes. Um, I've got two blushes and a highlight. These are absolutely stunning. So 
one's a metallic blush like a shimmery blush matte and then obviously the highlight so i'll swatch these i love these the powders are so soft the highlight has um like a pinky sheen to it but they're absolutely gorgeous I love this. This is one of my um, favourite um, blushes. In like these two are two of my favourite blushes in my collection, and the highlight is really gorgeous as well. Um, oh, actually, I tell a lie. I do have two other Makeup Forever products in my collection. I have a single highlight in a pan, which is their um, Pro Fusion highlight, and that is one of my all-time favourite highlighters. And then my Natasha Denona um, Bloom and Bronze um, Face Palettes. These are incredible. These were items that were not on my radar at all. I wasn't interested in the slightest. And then um, it was either Look Fantastic or Feel Unique had a big sale on a lot of Natasha Denona's products. So I picked these up at um, a really good... This one was discounted to 50% slight could have even been 60% off and then this one was reduced but not like massively reduced so this is the bronze palette and this is stunning I absolutely adore this palette I really didn't think it would be anything that I would use much but it's stunning I would definitely include this as one of my favorite discoveries of 2021 so you've got the two creams at the top and these are a dryer formula for creams so they call this one a cream blush but it's something that i would use as a highlighter um what i tend to do with this palette let me just still got remnants of that blush what I do with this palette is I use the cream blush um, as like um, a hybrid between a bronzer and a highlight. So I'll put it sort of higher up on my um, cheekbone and just use it as both um, bronzer and a highlight and it looks really, really stunning. So yeah, it was totally floored by this palette because it wasn't something I expected to love as much as I did and then we've got the bloom palette this is the one that I wanted the most but I've actually only used it once um, this is same format so you've got the two creams at the top and then the powders at the bottom so this cream blush is stunning well they call this the cream glow base and then the blush is so creamy in comparison to the bronze palette um, and so pigmented and the the high um the cream base is like um a gorgeous highlight for me and then you've got the glow extreme and the duo glow um, and this you can buy as a single and was on my wish list for so long the single um, and it, I just absolutely love it look at that isn't it gorgeous so super happy to have this in my collection and again, it's um, a candidate for um, an upcoming Shop My Stash for definite. And then two of my, well, probably up there with my absolute favourite discoveries of 2021 is the Pat McGrath Holiday 2021 Cheek Palettes. So I, had, but I have both shades that she bought out. So we've got the lightest, which is Galactic Sun. Is it Galactic Sun? yeah galactic sun which is the lighter one so you've got divine rose uh 
desert orchid and golden nectar is the highlight and this one was the one I was least excited about um, especially this blush I thought it was just a an okay blush you know but it's it's stunning I, I it looks like I've not touched it but I've used this so much when I got it all, all over the Christmas period I just couldn't put it down I've used it so much it's stunning and people rave about her formula and for good reason I have got um, after trying the blushes in these palettes I did buy a full size blush they're worth every penny they're stunning and this highlight I would 100% buy this highlight in a full size Again, I, I struggled to use any other highlights over the December period because it's just so stunning. So that's the lightest one. And this one is the deeper skin tone appropriate one. And this one's called Amber Allure. And in here you have Love Struck, uh, Paradise Venus and Venus Nectar is the highlight. And this, again, I've used this quite a few times and I've also used the highlighter quite a few times. This is my favourite sort of blush tone. Um, but as I always do, I've been saving my favourite till like a special occasion to use, which is just ridiculous. But this is stunning as well. And this highlight is gorgeous. I just can't get enough of Pat McGrath at the moment. I bought a hell of a lot from her during the Black Friday and Cyber Week sales. Which is one of the reasons that made me realise I needed to go on a no buy and a low buy because I kind of went a little bit mad on Pat McGrath. Okay, and these are the powder bronzers that I am starting 2021 with. 2022 with, even. <laughs> um, okay, so, some real favourite discoveries were made in powder bronzers in 2021. Um, some of these I've had in my collection for longer than I'm happy to admit to. Um, but these are the bronzers that I just can't let go of um there's just something about every single one of these products that makes me excited to use them um which is kind of the position that by the end of 2022 that I want to be in with everything in my makeup collection I have whittled my bronzers right down um, but there's definitely sections within my makeup collection that I, I definitely haven't and I would like to be in that position by the end of this year. So we'll start off with the biggest one. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. This is in the lightest shade. Now if I was to do things over again I would definitely buy the shade up because this is a super light bronzer but the formula of this when it's on the skin it just does something really special it gives me just a hint of color but it's the same formula as her um, airbrush setting powder so it's really blurring and perfecting and it's just there's just something really special about this bronzer. It just makes my skin just look that little bit better. And, you know, a more perfect version of itself. Then we have NARS Laguna. This is probably the oldest bronzer within my collection. And one that I've had over the years a love-hate relationship with. There's been times when I've used this that I've thought it looked a bit ashy and muddy on my skin tone. 
but um, of late, every time I use it, I absolutely love the tone on my skin. It's just a real easy bronzer and I love that it's not a flat matte, it does have a little bit of radiance to it. It's a very buildable bronzer. I mean, you can see there is quite a bit of radiance to this bronzer. Um, but when it's on the skin, it doesn't look it. Um, it's a really, it's, I, I couldn't say of a formula like this bronzer. It's really unusual. They have since reformulated and bought out um, different versions, like a matte version. But yeah, this is, it is a really beautiful bronzer at the moment on me. <laughs> And then um, an old, old favourite, the MAC and Sharon Osborne. Again, this is one of the oldest products within my collection, but it's been a long time favourite of mine. So I think the highlighter that's in here is Soft and Gentle. And I tend to just swirl my brush across the two. Um, but this is just a stunning, stunning bronzer. I absolutely love it and it just makes me feel really good about myself. It gives me a gorgeous glow, a gorgeous bronze. It's stunning in every way. And then some newer ones to my collection that again are up there with my top favourites we have the um, Kosas I think this is the Sun Chaser I'm not entirely sure exactly what this calls I'm, I'm thinking I'm sure it's called the Sun Chaser but this is in the shade light soft bronze this is a baked bronzer and again it has that radiance to it that I love. I'm sure you can see a theme across the products that are favourites. They all have that like radiance to them. But this tone you can see has a bit more red in it. And it just, it makes me look so healthy and sun kissed. And just again makes my skin look the best version of itself another one that does the same thing is the Huda Glowish bronzer I oh Glowish and me are having a long love affair but this is not as radiant as these other three um, but it just has a glow you know the name is perfect and the tone is stunning this is the second yeah number two medium the lightest one is very light and I just wanted something that gave me more warmth but yeah absolutely gorgeous um, then we have Fenty Beauty in the Sun this is the original powder bronzer this is just a Goldilocks product. It's, you know, it's a matte bronzer, um, but it doesn't make my skin look flat and dry. Um, it's the perfect tone that I can use it as both bronzer and a contour. Um, the powder formula is just, you know, it's a Goldilocks product. It's not it's not one or the other it's not too much of something and, and not enough of another it's it's a beautiful bronzer and one that I I could see me using up completely if I didn't have all of these others because it's just a perfect like everyday bronzer then a couple of drugstore wins. We have the Revlon Skin Lights and the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer. So this is in the shade Sunset Striptease and I think this one only comes in the one shade. This says it's 115 Sun Kissed Beam. Now I love this bronzer. I love the baked gelée formula. I love the 
tone of it the fact that it's got a glow as you can see very similar to these others that are favorites of mine and i just love it and i don't hear enough people talking about the revlon skin lights products but yeah this um this was a a, a sort of a surprise drugstore favorite because as you can see i don't have many drugstore products um here or within my collection as a whole but this was a winner and then this one i purchased because of marin from the glam donut and it looks like absolutely nothing in the pan but there's just something about this bronzer that is just so pretty on the skin again it's similar to these other ones it has that warmth to it it has that radiance the powder is lovely and soft and creamy and it's a few quid which is madness <laughs> okay so i've just removed those swatches from my hand i was getting a little bit uh sparkly um i'm not gonna swatch everything i promise or we will be here you'll be here all day laura stop it <laughs> um two sort of sister bronzers so we've got the original benefit hula and the new hula glow oh this this is so good um hula is another very old product within my collection but it's one that i just can't seem to let go of because it's just that perfect goldilocks bronzer so the powder is super soft am i i thought i was getting to some sort of pan but i think it's just i was gonna say i can't be because i know there's a ton of product in these i think it's just where i've perhaps had a bit of liquid on my brush or something and it's disturbed it but yeah this is a gorgeous bronzer the powder formula is so soft and silky and the colour is just perfect but it's another one like NARS Laguna in that I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship in that at times I've thought the tone was a little off for my complexion but of late it seems to be working maybe it's just me as i've got sort of moved on in my sort of makeup game i've figured out how best to use them i don't know but hula glow hula glow is perfect in every way this is just a radiant version of the original hula and i think this is stunning just stunning um exactly the same tone just with that bit of radiance to it and i really enjoyed using that i was one that i wasn't really that bothered about getting until i actually picked it up and started using it and i was like yes this is a winner um one of my all-time favorite bronzers in my collection is the makeup forever pro bronze fusion as i was talking about the um makeup forever products that i had in my collection i have the bronzer and the highlight which i'd for a moment forgotten about but this is a baked gelée it's just stunning in every way it's creamy it's blurring it has that bit of oh i'm losing a bit of light i think um it has that radiance to it it has the warmth that i like it's just very buildable you can see it's more of a sheer powder than these two but it's gorgeous and it's the perfect tone to make me look like i've got like got a natural golden bronze then we have um mac this was a limited edition um that i actually bought and and this is probably the reason why i keep this bronzer more than the actual product i bought this from the airport when me and my mom went on um a holiday on our own together um and i bought a couple of makeup products from the airport as i usually do when i go on holiday abroad and yeah 
I used it while I was away and it's just got really good memories but the bronzer is very similar to the other bronzers in my collection that I love that has that sort of radiance to it it's a baked gelée um, it's a bit deeper than the other ones in my collection but because of that baked gelée formula it never looks too much or too heavy it's gorgeous uh, oh and that's called um, golden rinse and it's a studio sculpt defining bronzing powder then we have um, unique I was many moons ago um, a unique seller um, would never recommend it to anybody um, or any of their products particularly but I do quite like this bronzer um, it's that baked formula it's radiant it's a nice color um, but they're super expensive for what they actually are so and also um, shady pyramid schemes don't really need to say any more I was an idiot and bought into it um, then we have the Milani Baked Bronzer. This is a super shimmery, like glowy bronzer, but it's gorgeous for when I want. This is like a bronzer that I would take on holiday with me, like for those nights when you go out after you've been in the sun all day and, and you just want to look like glowy and a bit extra, you know, a bit of extra sparkle so it's one that again i probably wouldn't miss this if i didn't have it in my collection but i do keep hold of it because i just i think it's so pretty <laughs> and then lastly probably my favorite bronzer discovery of 2021 and it's not even a bronzer this is the dior powder no powder um i've talked about these in my powder collection video this is a bachelet it's just gorgeous this is in the shade 4n which um dior actually recommends as a bronzer for fair skin tones um and it's stunning because it is a face powder it's it's blurring it's perfecting it's smoothing <coughs> excuse me it has that radiance to it and it's just a lovely warm bronze colour okay I've had to have a coffee break because my voice is going again it's driving me mental so this is all that remains of my MAC blush collection I have really 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 whittled this down at one time I probably had double this amount um, so my mum is now the proud owner of a lot of MAC blushes um, I've tried to only keep the ones that are different in my collection that offer something to my collection and that I haven't got in other formulas that is one thing that MAC is and always has been good at in that they offer such a huge huge range of colors um, for every skin tone like appropriate for every skin tone um, I particularly like a strong blush so I have quite a few that are aimed at deeper skin tones but I absolutely love them these are blushes they look like eyeshadows but they're mini blushes um, so let's um go through these now i did end up swatching every single bronzer and i'm not going to do that with the blushes because there's too many so let me just show you some of my absolute favorites so first of all we have the shade a little lusty this is a beautiful like that crimson burnt red shade that I absolutely love and this one has like a gold sheen to it then we have the shade devil this is a matte but it's a beautiful bright red orange then we have the shade <coughs> dolly mix 
this is a shimmer blush and it's a beautiful bright raspberry pink very similar to the towel that it's on then we have this is a extra dimension blush this was a limited edition and this is the shade see me hear me this is a gorgeous radiant blush and it's a lovely rosy toned like nude like a rosy nude then we have the shade spring sheen i knew that without even looking at it this is a gorgeous golden radiant rose like a rosewood color and this is absolutely stunning i will swatch this because this is one of my favorites very similar to that duo glow that's in the natasha denona bloom face palette then we have the shade ambering rose this is that gorgeous like terracotta with a golden sheen to it I'll swatch it next to the other one so you can see the comparison so this one is more your typical terracotta but it still has that golden radiance to it um then we have probably my most used blush other than spring sheen this is the shade stay pretty this is just a i think it's a matte yeah it's a pro long wear blush so this is a matte um, and it's just a very soft baby pink and it just goes with absolutely everything especially cool tone looks and then some that are sort of very different blushes are these three like nudie brown tones oh four sorry so you've got the shade sweet as cocoa which is a beautiful rich brown with a golden pearl to it i will swatch these four so you can see the differences there are subtle differences but each one does offer something different to my collection so that is sweet as cocoa then we've got the shade margin this is another favorite and one I've used a ton. See, it's got that corally flip, like peachy gold to it. And the base, as you can see, is more of an orange tone. Then we have Worldly Wealth, another one I knew without even looking. And this is more a typical bronzy gold. And you can see the slight nuances in the shades. I will build that one up a little bit so you can see the difference. Gorgeous. And then this one is one of their baked mineralised blushes. This is Warm Soul, which is an utter classic and they have since changed the formula. Of this so I have kept my original so you can see there are subtle differences in them all but they're just beautiful then we have modern mandarin which is another favorite which is like a gorgeous tangerine color with a slight sheen to it then we have the shade Peony Petal, which is a blue-based lilac pink. Again, perfect for cool tone looks. We have the shade Dainty. This is another favourite. A gorgeous, soft, rosy pink. And it's the mineralised formula, so it's got a gorgeous radiance to it. Then we have the shade Gentle another favorite gorgeous very similar to the towel again with that gorgeous radiance to it 
this one was a limited edition Christmas one <clears throat> and it's the shade Talk of the Town. This is super glowy. Very similar to Soft and Gentle but with more base colour to it. So you could use this as like a blush topper and then you wouldn't need a highlight on it. It's oh, it's so pretty. And this one's survived a few declutters but there's just something about it that I just can't let go of. And then this one is Love Thing which is stunning. And this is that mineralise formula again. And I have been thinking lately that MAC used to be my favourite brand. I had an enormous MAC collection and every, every MAC counter in my area knew me pretty much by name. Um, I had my favourite sales associates that I always used to buy from and I had so much. When I say my... At one time I laid everything out in my MAC collection and it covered a double bed. But over the years I've <clears throat> I've really, really, really whittled it down. <coughs> and I've not bought from MAC for years. But there are some things lately that I've been kind of interested in picking up. <coughs> Excuse me. Like the Glow Play blushes and the um, Powder Kiss bullet lipsticks. But... No buy, so we'll be holding off on purchasing anything from MAC. And then these are my minis. So I've got Newsflash, which is this beautiful bright red toned blush. Then we've got the shade Never Say Never. This one is more pinky toned. And makes me look like I've got like proper doll cheeks. And then my favourite bright response which is a beautiful bright tangerine with a sheen to it just to show you the sheen it's oh it's so pretty so that's it those are all my mac blushes now what i'm going to do is lay out all of my other blushes um that are all from like random brands okay and now we are moving on to sort of the random brands um and i'm definitely not going to be swatching many of these so firstly we have uh, one of the oldest blushes in my collection this was given to me by my mum this is the chanel what i call tricolor blush it's actually called the lumiere magique de chanel and it's a baked formula it has like a highlight portion and then two blushes I just tend to swirl them all around although I see my mum obviously favoured these two um, again this is one that I don't use all that often but it's kind of a piece of makeup history for me um, and I just can't quite let it go it still smells beautiful it still performs fine um, so yeah I, I do keep this one around and it's my only Chanel blusher then I have some again that were given to me by my mum I think one of these I bought myself and the other one was given to me by my mum these are the Urban Decay Vice blushes this is the shade Bittersweet and I really don't have anything like this in my collection my mum's a big purple fan as you can probably figure out from previous videos um but yeah this is the shade bittersweet and then i've also got the shade rapture which again i think this one i bought myself this has like a purple tinge to it but it does the other one was matte this one has like a sheen to it then another one given to me by my mum. This is an Inglot blush. This is one of their duos. So the top is shimmery and then the bottom is just the matte blush. And again, I just sort of swirl my brush in both. I've said it in videos before. The Inglot powder formula is wonderful. Then another given to me by my mum. This is um, Givenchy it girl purple 
and again I just swirl my blush uh, brush in all four sections this is quite a glowy blush and it is more on the light side um, but it does it does offer something when you mix all of them together and it's super pretty but it's one because of the colour that sort of is for very specific looks so tends to be more cooler toned looks then we have my YSL blushes these are absolutely stunning so the center shade has radiance and then around the outside is um, matte so this one is the shade number five which is a lovely cool tone pink and then my favorite shade number eight which is this gorgeous peachy coral and then these ones were given to me by my mum this is the shade number eight this is a I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it a super sparkly blush and this one is really pretty over Christmas again it's a very pale pink but it does offer something and it is perfect for those more cool toned looks and then this one is another one that you just sort of swirl your brush around in this one is gorgeous this one really does liven my cheeks up this one is the shade number 14 I don't think you can get these ones anymore um, and then we have my Milani blushes I have um, a full size Luminoso classic classic blush um, and much loved by many people and for good reason it's absolutely stunning I've currently got the mini version of this in my project pan and shot my stash then we've got Berry Amore these two were given to me by my mum um, and this one is a lovely like go with anything nudie pink gorgeous and then red vino which as the name suggests is a gorgeous red wine shade this is stunning would be gorgeous on deeper skin tones but with a light hand it works on me with a very light hand it's actually quite similar to the blush the darkest blush in the Natasha Denona Bloom palette but that one is obviously a cream and that one's a powder then a favorite of mine this is my Dior blusher in the shade uh, Golden Nights this is the 2020 holiday collection blush and this is just a stunning go with anything blush pinky blush which has a lot of radiance and sparkle to it it's absolutely gorgeous this is one of those formulas that it just perfects your skin perfects your makeup it's stunning then we have um, my only Becca blush. This is in blushed copper. This is one of their super shimmery blushes. Um, I wished I'd picked up more of these because these are stunning, super blinding, and so pigmented with one swipe. I do have to be quite careful with this one. Then another blush that looks great with cool toned looks this is benefit dallas and it's just a very natural flush that has like a cool tone base to it and this one also has radiance to it it's just a really neutral slightly cool toned leaning blush that just goes with everything this would be like your perfect every day for the office blush in my opinion then we have my two vive blushes i definitely want more of these these are a stunning stunning formula so i've got the shades piazza and sorbet sorbet is a gorgeous bright coral shade 
and these have um, radiance to them as well and then the shade Piazza which is my typical kind of ready terracotta that I just can't get enough of um, this looks stunning even on my fair skin tone but I do have to use a very light hand and then we have very similar to Piazza we have Pillow Talk Intense from Charlotte Tilbury so these are her blush and pop so you're supposed to like go round the outside for the colour and then pop the highlighty shade just on the apples of your cheeks but I sort of swirl them all together I have to be quite light handed with this one because it is more of a deeper skin tone friendly shade but it, I can make it work super pigmented lovely formula the charlotte tilbury blushes are gorgeous and then my full size pat mcgrath that i purchased and it had to be the shade i think it's electric poppy or electric bloom it's electric bloom yes electric bloom and this is just oh this is so gorgeous i haven't used this yet i haven't even swatched it but i knew a hundred percent that if i was to pick up a full size it would be this one and I definitely want to pick up some more of the blushes from Pat McGrath because the formula is just exquisite. And then we have one of the very famous Dior blushes. These are the PH adapting blushes. So I've got the shade number four coral. They call them the colour awakening universal blush natural healthy glow Dior backstage rosy glow and the pink one is the famous one because apparently Kylie Jenner was wearing it so it went viral but I prefer a coral blush um, and this is stunning it has a bit of a radiance to it it doesn't look like I've ever used it but I actually have really really pretty and then two of my babies the glowish blushes by Huda Beauty so I have the shade this one is caring coral they're stunning they have that radiance to them and very juicy this was the first one I had and these never look like you've touched them but honestly I've used very juicy so many times and they're just gorgeous gorgeous blushes okay so I only have a few left thankfully so I'm just gonna lay those out and we'll go through the last few that I've got on my bed so these are the only blushes that I have left majority of them are Colourpop obviously and the Colourpop blushes are probably one of my favorite formulations of blushes especially the Kathleen White's ones I don't hear enough people talk about Colourpop powder blushes but these blushes are beautiful so the first two that i have are from the making morphs collection i purchased the entire making morphs collection because i just thought it was so pretty um i have the shades catch my vibe and coast to coast this is catch my vibe and this one is a matte formula and then coast to coast again a matte formula gorgeous for cool toned looks then i have one of the mulan blushes this is in the shade good luck charm i think i got this from depop because the entire mulan collection was sold out um and i really wanted this shade good luck charm because if you've noticed a theme throughout this video I love this kind of blush especially with this like golden sheen running through it this is a stunning blush and like I mean that's one swipe the powder formula is so pretty so creamy and you know they're a couple of dollars for a blush then I have one of the peach collection this is the shade fresh and peachy this is a matte one and this just goes with everything it's just a gorgeous healthy peachy 
blush. And then my absolute favourites are the Kathleen Lights the, um, collection. Um, I bought a couple of these because I wasn't really that interested in them. Fell in love with the formula and I was like, right, I need them all. <laughs> so um, one of my favourites is the shade Luna Has It. It looks like a bronzer. It looks like absolutely nothing. But this is just something special when it's on the cheeks. It has more of like an orangey undertone to it that makes it not a bronzer. It is definitely a blush and it's just stunning, stunning. Does have a slight sheen to it, but nothing like too intense. And then I have the shade I Need Space, which is another favorite. This is another one that just does something special when it's on the skin. It just goes with everything, but just makes me look really healthy and feel super pretty. And then the two more fun ones we have, so retrograde. I mean, look at that. How fun is that? It's just stunning. And then I need, no, it's my sun stars again. So fun, so pretty. And this is sort of a similar sort of colour and f and sort of sheen as quite a few blushes in my collection. Again, kind of like that duo glow in the Natasha Denona Bloom palette. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I wish um, they would do another like Kathleen Lights collab with blushes in so I can expand my collection. And then we have the final two. We have L'Oreal Life's a Peach. This is one of my most used blushes. Um, it smells like peach. It's a gorgeous, healthy glow. It has like a slight sheen to it. It just goes with absolutely anything. Very similar to the Colourpop Fresh and Peachy. The Fresh and Peachy is probably a slight bit deeper but again I just hang on to these because they're both just so special and then one that is a more recent addition towards like the middle of last year this is a really unique one in my collection so this is the Kilowatt Foil Highlighter from Fenty Beauty Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset and look at this obviously not a highlight for me definitely a blush but so unique and so unusual that's my favorite one obviously but they're both really different really special and so fun and that brings us to the end of this video this is going to be so long and such a bore like to edit but thank you so much for watching guys really do appreciate it and i really do hope that you're enjoying this deep dive into my collection um i hope everybody's doing well i hope you're all safe happy looking after yourself appreciating yourself take your meds drink your water get some fresh air although I'm a fine one to talk I never leave my house um so yeah that's all I've really got to say today thanks for watching again um keep loving yourself keep loving each other I love you and I'll see you in my next video thanks guys bye